Come on, let's get happy. It's time for Lolly and Sweets. Fun with Lolly and Sweets, the planet episode. Ooh, show us Pizza Planet. Yes, Pizza Planet. All right, all right. Just hold your horses. I'm trying to find it. <clears throat> uh, Jesse, is there something I can help you with? Oh, hey, Buzz. Can you help us find Pizza Planet in this book, Buzz? Small fry, now what did you do with Buzz? What? I am Buzz. Oh, come on. We've already been through this. We know you're not Buzz. All right, fine. But just because I'm a mini Happy Meal toy doesn't mean I'm not a space ranger like Buzz. I know all about our planetary system, you know. <laughs> really? Yes, really. For starters, there is no pizza planet. He rides in a ship of lies. Yeah, why should we believe you? Okay, fine. I guess I deserve that. But this time I'm telling you the truth. Here, let me show you. Now move out of the way. You can say excuse me. All right, all right, excuse me. Now, our solar system is located in the Milky Way. Now, the sun is the largest member of our solar system with eight major planets and a dwarf one moving around it. Wow, and here I thought our planet was the center of the universe. Yeah, maybe in Buzz's world, but in our solar system, the sun is the center of the universe. Ooh, the sun is our new leader. Uh, okay. All right, now our sun is actually a star, and it's huge, like 110 times wider than our Earth, and it's hot, really hot, like 9,941 Fahrenheit. That's so bright that it takes only eight minutes for the light of the sun to reach our Earth. Ooh. Yeah, wow! So are we the closest to the sun? Nope, Mercury is. Ooh, Mercury. Uh, you guys all right? Yes. Right, okay, and uh, now Mercury is the first planet from the sun. Mercury is also the smallest of our major planets. It's just a little bit larger than our moon. Now, it has a real Earth-like surface made up of rocks and metals, but despite it being really small, it's very dense and compact. And because of its atmosphere, it rotates really slowly. In fact, the single day on Mercury is as long as 60 Earth days. Gee, that's a long day. Yeah? Well, try standing on the display case all day, having all the kids look at you so lovingly, then they take home some other Happy Meal bozo. Uh, so, uh, which planet's next? Uh, what? Oh, yeah, so, uh, Venus is next. Ooh, Venus. All right, th that's enough. It's getting a little annoying. All right, now Venus is the second planet from the sun. It's also the brightest planet. In fact, most people confuse it for the first star at night. Now, even though it's not the closest to the sun, it's still the hottest planet at 990 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's hot. It's similar to Earth with mountains and volcanoes, but it's unusual because it spins in the opposite direction of Earth and most planets. <laughs> I can't believe I've been making wishes on a planet this whole time. That's right, you've been making wishes on the wrong star. Um, do you have something stuck in your eye? Uh, what? Oh, me? Uh, yeah, I think it's gone now. Okay, so our planet's gotta be next, right? That's right, Earth, the planet we live on, is next. Ooh, Earth. Uh, are they always like this? Yup. Ah, gee whiz. Alright, so Earth is the third planet from the sun. And it's the only known planet where water exists in liquid form on the surface. In fact, 71% of our Earth is covered in water. And that's why life can survive here, because the water maintains the planet's temperature. Fun fact, it takes 365 days for us to circle the sun. Wow, I didn't know our planet was the only one with water. Yeah, well actually Mars, the next planet, might have some water in the ground. Ooh, Mars. All right, come on, guys, please, it's distracting. All right, now, as I was saying, so Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Now, it's also known as the red planet because of its rusty iron surface. It's only about half the size of Earth, but it's got a really thin atmosphere made of carbon dioxide, so you can jump three times as high than you can on Earth. Pretty cool, right? Now, because it's believed that water may be inside the ground and life may be lived there, so, hey, Mars might be able to support life in the future. That's incredible! You see, even though it's half the size of Earth, one day it may be considered the new Earth. <laughs> oh, maybe, but not quite yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's move on to the next planet, Jupiter. Ooh, Jupiter! Ugh, and they say I need group therapy. 
All right, now Jupiter's the fifth planet from the sun. Now this planet is massive. It's 300 times the size of Earth. And its surface is made up of a thick layer of hydrogen gas. And because of this gas, hurricane-like storms and winds and thunder and lightning are active throughout the year. Wow, 300 times the size of Earth? Yeah, yeah, okay, it's huge, but you know, it's filled with a bunch of hot air. It can't possibly sustain life. Not like small but mighty Mars. Um, are we still talking about planets here? I'm just stating facts here. All right, so the next planet is Saturn. Oh, wait, go ahead, guys. Ooh, Saturn. Yep, Saturn. Now, Saturn is the fifth planet from the sun. This planet is the coolest looking and the most famous because of its beautiful giant rings, which are made up of asteroids and broken up comets. Now, Jupiter is also a gassy planet, but as you go deeper, the gassy hydrogen becomes liquid metal. Gee, I didn't know planets were so cool. Well, I would have figured Buzz, the space ranger, would have told you all about him. Nope, he didn't. Don't worry, I got you. All right, so the next planet is Uranus. Guys, please don't. Hmm, all right, thanks guys. Ooh, Uranus. Ah, seriously guys? All right. So Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It's an ice planet. It also has gas, but much of the interior is made up of frozen elements. As a result, it's got the coldest atmosphere out of the major planets at negative 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's cold. You wanna know what cold is? Being stuck on a display case with no hope of ever being played with. Yeah, I guess so. Is that the last planet? No, it's not. Neptune is. Ooh, Neptune. Ah, give me patience. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. Now it's also a giant ice planet, which is made up of a gas surface with a rock and ice interior. Now Neptune's atmosphere gives it this bright blue color that can only be seen through a telescope, as the last major planet in our solar system is 2.8 billion miles away from the sun, and it also has rings around it like Saturn, but not as visible. Well guys, that's it. I guess there really is no pizza planet. Oh. No, wait, there's still one more. Ooh, pizza planet. No, it's Pluto, the dwarf planet. Too small, not real planet. What? Yeah, well, Pluto may be small, but it was considered the ninth planet of our solar system at one time. Now, this dwarf, but cool planet, is made up of nitrogen ice, mostly, and some rocks. Now, Pluto is so far from the sun, it gets very little energy from it. So it's extremely cold at negative 385 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> cold is you tying me up to take my place for the last time. Oh, yeah, about that. Um, you know what? I gotta go. I think I got one of those group therapy things. What? Oh, you're not going anywhere. Hasta luego, Jesse. Um, okay. Bye. Hey, wait. Get back here. Jesse, a little hope, please. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Buzz.